It is possible to have a chart with one data series displayed as a column chart while the other one displayed as a line or XY chart. So here we have, uh, we have uh, this uh, time, temperature, and light data. So what we need to do is to plot the temperature data as a column chart and add to this chart a line chart for the light data. So we plot what we call a combo chart or a combination chart, which as the name indicates a combination of two types of charts in one. So the first step, let's select all the data and control shift the down arrow to select to the last row, click on insert tab, go to, go to the chart section, click on insert combo chart, and let's insert a clustered column line on secondary axis and choose this one what this means that we have a column chart and a line chart and the column chart will have the primary axis values and the line chart will have the secondary axis values so here excel is a little bit confused uh, uh, about the data so for example we have uh, two columns so one corresponds to the temperature and the other corresponds to the time. However, what we need to do is to put the time in the horizontal x-axis instead. So here in the horizontal x-axis, Excel is uh, generate, uh, generating a sequence of numbers with an equal increment equal to one. So we need to replace the sequence of numbers with the time data. So to do this, Click on select data under the design tab and let's remove the time data from the data series. Click on remove. Then let's add the time data in the horizontal axis label. So click on edit. So instead of choosing one, two, three, four till 16, let's replace this by clicking on edit and select the time data from A4 to A19. Then hit the OK button then let's hit OK. So this will fix it and we'll put the time data in the horizontal axis. Now let's uh, format this uh, chart a little bit. Let's remove the chart title. So select the chart title and press the delete button on the keyboard. And let's add axis titles. So click on this plus sign, check axis titles, and let's move the legend here to the top of the plot. So click on the sideways uh, arrow next to the legend and choose top. Then deselect the menu by pressing on the plus sign again. And now we replace the axis title to temperature. Type in temperature and in degree Celsius. And for the horizontal axis title, let's put time in hours. And for the secondary axis, let's put lumens per square meter and hit the enter key. Now what we want to do, we want to format the column chart and the line chart. So first, let's uh, double click on the column chart and let's uh, click on fill and line and change the color from orange to black. So click on color here under fill and you choose a black color and let's change the format for the line chart so click anywhere on this line this gray line and let's choose a black color also and let's add some markers so click on marker here expand marker options click on built-in and let's add a triangular marker and we can change uh, the fill color for the marker so let's put a white color so we can see it uh, on top of the column and let's uh, let's select a different color for the border color for this uh, markers so under border choose a black one so the border of the marker would be uh, colored in black uh, the last uh, thing we're going to do, if you notice, we have this uh, major horizontal grid line and the values on the primary axis and the values on the secondary axis 
are not symmetrical. So if you follow, for example, this value 5, and you follow across the, uh, the major horizontal grid line, you will see that the 20 here is just below the major horizontal grid line. So what we want to do, we want this 20 or this whatever value here to be symmetrical with the 5. So we need to do to change the secondary axis values. So select it, click on axis options. Let's change the bounds first from choose a maximum of 0.50 and a minimum of zero and here let's uh, put an increment of 25 so under units and uh, under major enter 25 instead of 20 and now the values are symmetrical across each uh, horizontal grid line so let's close it and now we have this combination chart showing the temperature in a column chart and the light data in a line chart.